Hello Aries, welcome to your love reading for October 2020. This is going to be a 411 love reading where we're going to look at everything you need to know about your connection, how you feel about each other, what you need to know, what they haven't told you, what's challenging the connection and a potential outcome. This will be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but it's a general love reading. So you know the drill. It will not resonate with everyone watching and you will know pretty soon if this is your reading or not. Um, if this does not resonate, check out my other videos for Aries or check out your other placements in your birth chart in case they might resonate more for you. All right, Aries, let's get into this. We'll start with you and them. Let's see how you feel about each other. Let's start with you, Aries. Spirit, angels, guide. It's for October 2020 for Aries. Those Aries that are in a connection. What are their inner... Okay, that one fell on the floor. <laughs> okay, so we got trust for you. The situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay, what about your person? Oh. <laughs> Release your ex for your person. The time has come to clear your energy. So it could be that your person needs to release an ex. It could be that your person wants to release you. Um, I feel like your person might be influenced by the past in some way. That's just what I'm picking up right away. Um, bottom of the deck, healing family issues. You might be dealing with someone that has a family or you might be dealing with some family problems right now, Aries. Now, I have you on this side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip them because the energy can be reversed. All right, so let's see. Do I want to use this deck? No. I don't know why I don't want to use that deck. I set it aside on the table specifically to use it, and then when I went to go pick it up, it was like, no. All right, Aries, let's see. Let's get some more information about how you feel about each other here. For Aries, please, Spirit, tell me more about Aries and the connection that they're in for October 2020. What does Aries, oops, what does Aries need to know? What does Aries need to know? Tell me more about Aries, the energy that, how do you feel or think about this person, Aries? Got two. You might be the one with family issues or some something's happening in the home right now. Some sort of burden here over an ending possibly. Maybe something ended and now you're the one um, shouldering a burden or you're weighed down by responsibilities. Uh, maybe there's emotional baggage you're dealing with from something that didn't work out here. Tell me more about Aries. Three of Pentacles reverse. Judgment just fell out there like on the bottom of the deck. I don't know if you could see. There's probably something that you've been realizing, Aries, in the last few months maybe. Something's not working. Uh, someone's not putting in the, the right amount of effort or perhaps something needs a lot more effort than you thought it would. We'll clarify that later on to see. What about your person? Tell me about the person that Aries is dealing with. Well, I don't know why I wanted to take all three, but let's go for it. Uh, three, nope, what am I saying? Eight of swords reverse. Why would I say three? Knight of wands and two of wands. Your person wants something here. But and it's like they're breaking free of a situation or breaking free of their fear in order to get it. Two very different energies here. Tell me about the mutual energies here between Aries and this person. What are the mutual energies? What's going on in this connection? going on in this connection spirit between Aries and this other person? What can you tell me? Oops. For Aries. The cards don't want to stay in my hand. What can you tell me for Aries? Kind of like sticking to each other too. Never ending story. Interesting. Between worlds. A transition here. Someone's trying to decide if they want to stay with the past or move on to something completely new. 
someone could be having a change in their life, some sort of transition period where they're moving from one place to another, from one job to another, one family to another. Take it how it resonates there. Bottom of the deck, I have milk and honey. I feel like someone's um, going through a transition because they're trying to find their nine of cups, emotional fulfillment, happiness, feeling good with their situation. I feel like there's some sort of frustration here with never ending story um, when it comes to this connection. See how she's looking kind of like again. <laughs> she's just not having a good time there. A lot of overthinking too. I'm picking up here. Tell me about the mutual energies here, spirit. What are the mutual energies here? Wow, we got a tower. What happened? And the full reversed. Can you get one more? For mutual energies, please. Ace of Swords. Bottom of the deck, five of swords reverse. So right away, what I see here is that something has happened in this connection that has kind of shaken it up a bit. Either this is something like an unexpected event happened, there was some sort of revelation, um, a secret came out, there was a separation, drama, something happened here with the tower. Uh, and I feel like this was um, with the full reverse, it's almost like someone didn't handle it well and either that caused a tower or this tower is something that someone wasn't prepared for. It's like they, did, they didn't really see it coming or they weren't prepared for it. They were foolish, um, possibly a little bit naive, but there's some sort of either communication happening or clarity happening about this tower. And I don't think it's a coincidence that judgment came out earlier while I was shuffling. So judgment is all about that awakening that you have, that wake up call. So let's see, let's get some more information here. Let me clarify these energies for Aries. Now, like I said before, feel free to flip the roles. I have you on this side, Aries, and your person on the other here, but you can uh, flip them if the it resonates more because the energy can be vice versa here. Let's see, what happened with this tower? Actually, I'm gonna start with you because I always start in the <laughs> always start in the middle. But let's start with you first. What's this Three of Pentacles reverse? It could be there's some sort of interference here that's affecting the connection. It could be that something's just not working out. You're not working well together. Tell me about this Three of Pentacles reverse, please. I want that one. Queen of Swords reverse. Words have been exchanged probably here. Someone's not happy with whatever's not working. Someone also is, I feel like, has become really cold and disconnected here. Knight of Wands. I feel like this is in regards to your person. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this Three of Pentacles reverse. Wow, High Priestess. Your intuition, I feel, is helping you here, or perhaps there was something here that you didn't know about, Aries, with the High Priestess. Maybe someone wasn't very serious when they had to be, this Knight of Wands. Um, this Knight of Wands, typically, you know, very courageous, impulsive, fiery energy there. Um, but, you know, sometimes they can get away with, like, having it's, it's almost like they're too busy doing stuff that they don't kind of stick around and stay still enough to like make something last or work on something with long-term potential that kind of energy with the queen of swords reversed and the high priestess i feel like there's some sort of communication that was cut off here or someone wasn't completely honest or truthful with you And it's causing problems here. Tell me about the Four of Wands reverse. The Lovers. Yeah, see, you could be dealing with a Gemini 
or it could be that you are um, in a partnership here, Aries, that's not very stable or peaceful right now. Tell me more about this Four of Wands reverse. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, Ten of Coin reverse. There's something here happening, possibly financial difficulties, um, some sort of uh, insecurity or instability in the home, something with family possibly here. Six of Cups reversed. The past is like rearing its head and affecting you in the present. I don't know if it's someone needing to release the past or someone from the past or a situation from the past that keeps happening. It's a never ending story. Take it how it resonates. So let's see what's going on with your person. Tell me about this Eight of Swords reverse. What's this about? Empress reverse. Tell me about the eight. Thank you. Judgment again. I think this is very important that judgment keeps coming out. Tell me more about this eight of swords reverse. The moon. And then have eight of cups reverse at the bottom, which kind of wanted to come out earlier, but it didn't fully come out. So your person has had some sort of a wake up call here. They want possibly a second chance with you. Um, maybe they, they ruin, I don't know why I'm picking this up, but it's like they did something that they shouldn't have done that kind of ruined things. Instead of taking a step forward, your connection took a step back. Um, your person's having some sort of an awakening or a wake up call or a realization that's helping them come out of this overthinking, the fear, the feeling stuck, the feeling like they don't see a way out. Um, I feel like your person for a while there was unsure. Uh, moon, The moon here is telling me it's almost like your person was unsure or, or, or something wasn't exactly what you thought it was, like there was an illusion here, something hidden beneath the surface. Pisces energy with the moon. This moon, this high priestess is not, for me as a reader, it's not a coincidence that it's on either side. So I feel like it's there's a secret between you or something that you didn't know or wasn't spoken, you know? Empress Reverse, your person had all major arcanas here. Um, Empress Reverse, this is a bad investment. Uh, it could mean that the Empress Reverse for me as a reader tends to be an interference like another partner, a mother of a child or a parent. Um, it could be a, like the mother of someone some sort of feminine energy that interferes. Um, she could be a jilted lover, someone that was left behind and is very upset about it. Um, but it could also mean that there's something here that's not manifesting, not growing, not expanding. Your person doesn't have the resources to make something grow. And so, you know, things don't happen. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Two of coin. Your person was juggling two things or possibly was very indecisive about something. Chariot reverse. Cancer energy. I feel like this indes like the indecision, um, I feel like it kept your person from having a new beginning. I have the ace of wands here. You know, instead of having that passion and new beginning, they're stuck. And I feel like they, they're trying to become unstuck here with the Eight of Swords reverse. Yeah, one more for the Knight of Wands. The world. Wow, we keep getting major arcanas here. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands. Your person wants a new cycle or they want to um, get things in motion, put things in motion here. Because I have the Knight of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Hangman reverse, it could be that, you know, they might not be willing to sacrifice right now or there's a lot that they would have to let go of here in order to make something happen, this new cycle. With the two of wands, the two of coin, this person could have had a wandering eye. Maybe you weren't the only one they were involved with. What's this tower about? Oh, my God. 
Hang on one second. What's this tower about? Hold on, that doesn't feel right. What's this tower about? I just feel a lot of energy right now, very like pent up energy. And then I have the eight of wands. So something's happening very fast. Either communication has come in to cause a tower or there's a lot of things happening, a lot of movement happening here based off of this tower. Tell me more about the tower, please. Three of swords, very painful tower, justice at the bottom. This could even be like a legal situation. For some of you, this could be that someone needs to have a, or needs to get a divorce or um, is waiting to hear back or maybe Someone here is getting justice and the other person is in pain, heartbroken. It's like this tower is leaving someone here. It's, you know, what I'm seeing here is like whatever tower this is, one person's very stressed out about it and the other person's using it as kind of like an opportunity to move forward. Tell me about the full reverse. Nine of Wands reverse. Tell me about the full reverse. What is going on? This deck usually doesn't jump out of my hands like that. Why is the full reverse? Page of coin. Three of cups reversed at the bottom. I feel like there's someone here that wants to, you know, they can't make you a big offer of commitment, but they want to at least take you out, see you, um, make you maybe a promise. They're trying to work on something here, but I feel like their planning is not, it's like they're not very, I hate to say it, but it's like they're not really thinking clearly or thinking like steps ahead. I feel like there's probably trust issues in this connection, like you don't trust this person or they don't trust you perhaps because of what has happened, perhaps because there's a third party uh, situation. And a third party could be any interference, uh, a parent, another partner, um, finances, long distance, et cetera, et cetera. I feel like someone wants to make this offer, but it's like with the full reverse, this is, this is a huge risk or it's gonna blow up in their face. That's kind of like what I'm feeling. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. What's the Ace of Swords here? Six of Coins. Someone wants to talk about rebalancing the situation. Um, they want to give you something here. Death. Scorpio energy. That's this transform uh, between worlds card. Some sort of transformation here. Transition. An, end, an ending needs to happen in order for this world, in order for this new beginning. Ace of coin reverse. Someone could definitely be getting a divorce here with death and the ace of coin reverse. It could be a broken commitment here. And it could be a broken commitment in order to rebalance the situation. I have seven of swords reverse at the bottom. So be careful because it could be that this broken commitment happens because someone gets caught doing something they shouldn't be doing. It's like they want to have a new beginning, a clear, clear, uh, what's the word? A clean slate. All right, so let's get into this because I spent too much time Let's dive in here. Let's get the 411 for you. What you need to know, clear the table here. This is resonating so far. Let me know in the comments, you know, how is this resonating for you? <clears throat> Spirit, what do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? And what insight can we get into this connection? 
using my homemade oracle deck here. What do we need to know for Aries regarding this connection? What do we need to know? That's way too many, but we got soon at the bottom there. What do we need to know? I regret everything that happened. There are obstacles in this connection. Bottom of the deck, this is a strong union. At least your person feels that way. You would have to let me know if you feel that way. What do we need to know about this connection? Spirit, what do we need to know? Okay. Spirit, what do we need to know about this connection between Aries and this person? What do we need to know? Four of Cups Reverse, someone's had a change of heart or renewed interest in something that they had lost interest in, in before. Knight of Cups, wow. Someone's coming to maybe apologize or make you some sort of an offer here, express how they feel. What are the challenges, blockages, or hidden factors? Let's see, what's getting in the way of this connection? Challenges, blockages, or hidden factors here in this connection. Okay. Empress reversed again. This Empress is a big problem, whoever they are. Or the fact that something's not manifesting manifesting um, is a big issue here. Five of coin at the bottom. This could be financial. It could be someone um, being like disconnected from you uh, there could be emotional distance between you it could be that someone has shut the other person out blocked them possibly left them out in the cold here tell me clarify now what you need to know is that like someone's had a change of heart here they they they've um changed their mind about something or you know, whatever they weren't interested in before, they're interested in now. Tell me about this Four of Cups reverse for Aries. Four of Wands reverse. It's like something's not working out in the home or there's a lack of stability, a lack of peace, and they've had a change of heart. It's like they've changed their mind. Like, this isn't for me. Oops, I got two. Yeah, and I feel like this has been something that they've been thinking about here with the Seven of coin and the ace of swords is like they've had some sort of like idea here some sort of clarity about the time they've invested the time that has passed here wondering if something is ever going to rebalance here have the queen of cups right after that it's like you know whatever situation this person is going through and this could be your person um because I, I just asked what you need to know about this connection in general, but for some reason, I think this might be your person. This could be you as well, Aries, but it's like something hasn't been working out. There are some family issues here, some situations within a home life that it, it's causing someone to have a change of heart. They could be wanting to communicate this with you. Tell me about this Knight of Cups for Aries. What's this Knight of Cups about? Yeah, judgment, again. Someone might be asking for a second chance. Yeah, and there's the Queen of Cups with the King of Pentacles. Moon at the bottom here. This might be unexpected or you might not see this, this coming. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups. This is a very emotional... Um, conversation or this person is having a lot of emotions here six of wands they want success they want recognition they want they want to be seen by you or this is what you want them to do they you want them to recognize your value here to see you as see you for you for who you are i feel like this is your person because i have the eight of 
swords reverse here so it's almost like they have to break free of a situation or of their own fear uh, in order to have victory here and this victory is a challenge why is the six of wands a challenge or a block it's blocked right now or it's a challenge why is the six of wands a challenge or a block because of something hidden maybe someone isn't speaking up maybe someone um hasn't let go of an illusion uh, maybe there is something underneath the surface that is causing confusion but more than anything i think this is something hidden eight of pentacles it requires effort this success requires effort and focus yeah and the king of swords did want to come out so clarity communication open and honest communication here about you know what it will take to have a six of wands i feel like a success for your connection is going to take a lot of work here aries i don't think this is something that it could be also that your person's working in secret to communicate something to you or to make something happen with the king of swords king of swords very good at boundaries cutting things out that no longer serves them um that could be it as well but this is in regards to a partnership i have the two of cups here so this is in regards to a partnership whatever this is here that the king of swords is focused on why is the ace of wands reverse a challenge or a block this is a challenge or a block why are you not having your new beginning You might already be over this person. Uh, you might not accept this offer. You might not be interested in this offer. It could be that someone here might miss an opportunity because they're so focused on the wrong thing here. Wow, tower and the 10 of cups at the bottom. So I feel like a tower moment will need to happen here for this ace of wands to be turned around and be a new beginning. Someone's not happy in their current situation, not satisfied, um, but also they don't have the right focus. So they need to be very careful because this could be a completely missed opportunity here. I'm also getting the sense for, for a small number of you, this tower is going to be a complete surprise to this person, whoever this is. It could be you or your person where you're just kind of like not happy with your life, not happy with things are going, focused on what hasn't worked out here. Um not very open to new opportunities kind of closed off and then without realizing it this tower happens behind your back and i feel like it's going to affect a family we have the ten of cups here or it's going to affect someone's emotional fulfillment here why is the emperor's reverse a challenge or a block why is the emperor's reverse a challenge or a block Six of Cups. This could be that release your ex card. Someone needs to release something from the past. It, it doesn't even have to be an ex. It could just be something from the past. But I have a feeling it's an ex. This Empress might be an ex. Yeah, there's something here that's like unfinished business with the past. Uh, something that's not, there's no closure. There's no um, clean break here of the the previous cycle so something needs to completely end with the previous cycle in order to have the world be upright tell me about the empress reverse yeah a choice needs to be made and communicated i feel like there's either a blocked message or someone that's not really telling the truth about the choice that they're making they could you know this choice i feel is is to manifest something new and this is a cha these are all challenges or blocks the fact that there's this stuff is uh this situation is in limbo because there's still some things that need to be done here so let's look at the potential outcome to wrap this up and i'm going to do um, things a little bit different for these monthlies i'm going to be pulling a few cards for the potential outcome and then in the extended i'm going to be clarifying the potential outcome further as well as looking at your person's true intentions and what are their next steps going to be and then i'm also going to ask for some advice from spirit as always maybe we'll get some idea on timing 
So we're going to be looking at all of that in the extended. So if this resonated for you in any way, check out the extended. The link is in the description box below this video. All right, Spirit, tell me about the potential outcome here for Aries and this other person. What's the potential outcome for Aries and this other person? If you're interested in a personal reading, I have moved all of my readings to my website. So check that out in the description box below. Wow, we got devil, Capricorn energy, potential outcome here. I feel like someone's still going to feel bound to something or there's some sort of unhealthy situation that is still kind of affecting this connection. The fool. Wow. Potential for a new beginning here. Someone taking a risk, a leap of faith. And then I got the world reversed. Wow. All major arcanas here for your potential outcome. Bottom of the deck, the moon. Definitely. This goes with your reading so far. This could even be the new moon in Virgo that is taking place on the 17th. Or it could be that there's, again, something hidden underneath the surface that has yet to come out. Something that has yet to be spoken or revealed here because the moon is upright. This is causing a lot of confusion. There's a lot of unknown. Um, and I feel like it's affecting the beginning of something here with the world reverse. There's a lack of closure. Something has not fully ended here. Something has not fully wrapped up here with the world. There's still things tied, like someone needs to tie up loose ends or make a clean break here with the world reversed. I feel like this new beginning is going to take a huge risk. It's going to probably require trust here from this card that we got here. Um, and it's going to require a release. You know, I feel like right now you are probably, you know, when it comes to this connection, you are in the middle of this line. Like there's, you could take a step back or a step forward, but you're right in the center there at the threshold. Um, so I feel like there is a possibility for something new to happen here, Aries. But someone needs to deal with this devil. I have to clarify in the extended what that is. But um, there's definitely with the devil some sort of entanglement, some sort of uh, entrapment that someone is feeling like they're in. You know, this is a self-imposed prison <laughs> with the devil this is something that we it's like we have picked up a chain and deliberately tied it around our necks through the decisions that we've made we could take that chain off at any time you know the devil has these two people with chains around their necks but these are loose chains these are not tying them down all they have to do is take them off and that requires choices you know new choices I love that you have the fool here though. I mean, I think this is very positive. I think the fool is, you know, all about possibilities. It's a journey that you go on, not knowing where exactly you're gonna land, but you're willing to take the risk and see where it goes anyway. So I, I like that for your connection, but I can't hide this moon, you know, this moon is a problem. <laughs> And this moon's going to be different for everybody watching because, like I said, this is a general reading. So it will not resonate with everyone 100%. But if you know what this moon is, if you know what this devil is, and why you're not getting this world, this new cycle starting, then let me know in the comments how it's resonating for you. I'm going to take this to the extended and get de like deep dive into this potential outcome. So if you'd like to join me there, the link is down below. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Aries. Thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing. If you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. Thank you to everyone who has already done that, and I'll see you all in another video. Take care.